two dynamic actors, two fascinating takes. Let's have some fun. I'm Jeff Savage, and this is Take Two. Welcome to Take Two. I'm your host, Jeff Savage. There's an ancient proverb that states, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Whether beginning an acting career or sharpening the saw as an acting professional, the guidance of a legitimate coach is crucial to the success of any actor, ensuring they understand the expectations and skills necessary to give their very best performances. Are you ready? Because today, two teachers will appear before you to share the wisdom of acting coaches. It is my absolute honor to welcome to the set Paula Goldberg and Elise Bowman, two sought-after acting coaches who specialize in different genres. Paula, Elise, welcome to Take Two. Thank you. Excited to be here. So glad to have you both. You know, this show is all about acting coaches, and I would love for you to be able to tell our audience about yourself and what areas of coaching that you specialize in. Paula, I'm going to start with you. Okay. Um, I... Got my degree in acting. I studied with uh, William Esper, and so I've been doing that my whole adult life. Um, I made a transition when I moved to L.A. into writing. So I have five pretty screenplays, and um, so I work with uh, writers, and I work with actors. It's the same thing. Basically, it's storytelling. It's just where you're in, where you're finding yourself into it. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Elise, uh, what is your areas of strength in coaching? What uh, you know, where what where are you at in these days? Yeah, so I have a couple of different areas as a coach. So I'm a voice actor coach, and I specialize in the craft, the tools, and the business of voice acting. And then I also work with on camera actors, and I coach on teleprompter skills, TV hosting, and interviewing skills. And then I also work with executives and help them with on camera presence and uh, and like interviewing skills. And then I'm excited to announce here that I have a new business, Transform 11, where we will be doing breakthrough leadership coaching. My business partner and I will be doing this with a team and we will work with groups and private, like do private coaching as well. So that's exciting. So I have a little bit of everything, but but much different than what she does. Yeah, sounds like there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of different uh, elements of your expertise that Coaching is, you know, it's a skill, it's an art, it's, a, it's being a teacher, which uh, kind of leads me directly to my next question. What is it exactly that qualifies somebody to be an acting coach? At what point in your own acting journeys did you say, I'm ready to be an acting coach? Paula? Um, I mean, the lucky thing is when you're talking about entertainment, you're, you're not a neurosurgeon. No one's going to die on the table. If, you, <laughs> something, if right? they die, they'll die with laughter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's about really uh, being a coach is forming a relationship with someone. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a marriage. It's about trust. So I try to just create an atmosphere where they trust me, where they can be vulnerable. They feel safe. It's a safe space to... Um, be their their authentic self, mm -hmm. okay. and that's what you're. That's what you're. You're trying to. Acting is incredibly simple, but it's not easy. So you know, sure. getting to that place where um, they feel like they can open up, and and then of course there's strategies as well. I mean, it's strategic yeah. and emotional. Sure. Was there a certain amount of time that passed uh, from, you know, when you first started your acting journey that, you know, that something clicked in your mind and said, you know, I'm ready to be a coach. I'm ready to step into those shoes. It was when I started really writing because when I realized that it's all storytelling and, and acting and editing and directing, it's all coming from the same place, which is you look at the script, you break it down, you decide what you want, what stands in your way of getting it why it's so important to you, um, and based on who you are as a person, the tactics and actions you take to get it. And the same thing, it's once I really got into my acting career, my writing career, I realized how informative and helpful that could be to actors. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah it's, uh, same uh, question to you, Elise. Uh, sure. What is, uh, you know, what, it, what is it that qualifies somebody to, to teach other people this very subjective and creative craft? 
Yeah, well, I think I'm sure it's different for everybody. For me, I've been coaching something since I was 17. I just happened to start with gymnastics because I was a, a former gymnast. Oh, and then I coached cheerleading in college and then coached sports. And then when I became a because I am a full-time actor, I'm an on-camera actor, a voice actor, a TV host, and a content creator. So in my acting journey, for me, what happened is people just started coming to me and at, they first asked me for advice for on-camera acting. And it was like teleprompter advice and TV hosting advice. And so I started with that first as a coach because I was giving away all this free advice. And I thought, well, if people are asking, maybe I'll make it official <laughs> and coach. And then uh, what evolved from that was voice acting because I was also full time as a voice actor and on camera actor. And so it was for me and, and what I was getting to, I started officially voice acting coaching as well. And so I think it was being open to possibilities because I really didn't plan to coach on camera. I didn't plan to be a voiceover coach, but people were asking, and I love coaching. And I'll say the other thing, I've had so many great coaches. I love classes. And I tell my students that I have taken so many classes in Dallas and when I lived in Los Angeles as an actor. And I have taken film and TV and TV hosting voiceover and you name it, I have taken the class. So to be able to pass that along to students who are either wanting to get started as an actor or they're wanting to to kick their acting career up to the next level, to be able to pass that along is just such a joy to me. Well, that's that's awesome. You know, to, to have it come around organically and, you know, sometimes yeah. those, those opportunities find you, mm -hmm. and things like that. So yeah, speaking of, you know, actors that are just getting started as a coach and i'm going to ask this to you paula what are some of the most common challenges um or mistakes that actors face you know when they, especially when they're first getting started and how do you help them overcome those well they definitely just have to have confidence in themselves that they can do it a lot of times uh, actors will get in their head about memorizing lines and for me memorizing lines is not a difficult skill, it's because they don't know what they're doing, right? They haven't tied it to a piece of business or an action. They don't know what they want from the other actor. So that's why they're going up on their line. They're not remembering the line because they're not remembering what they want in the scene. So that's something often that I have to work with them uh, to, to overcome and, and just realize they're all good and they can do it. Very true, very true. Yeah. Um, you know, and actually very, you know, very telling, you know, a lot of times, we don't have those skills when we start something new and we want something and we just don't really have the, you know, the, the legs to do it. So that's really fascinating. Thank you for sharing that, for sure. Sure. Uh, at least, you know, same question to you, you know, in, in the realm of voiceover and the realm of uh, teleprompter and things like that. What are some of the more common, you know, mistakes and challenges that your students face when they get started? The first thing that comes to mind is just students being overwhelmed. You would think it might be the craft or the skills, I find students are so willing to come in and play and do character voices. I think they are overwhelmed. They don't know where to start. I, you know, whether they are brand new actors or they're actors who have just hit a plateau, they don't know what to do. And here's where, like, I geek out over goal setting and taking actionable steps and breaking it down. And I think that's, you know, I come from corporate America and I'm accountant by degree. So what I love to do with students, whether it's gr in a group situation or private students, is like, let's set some goals. Let's make really easy action steps. Let's make sure you're always making progress in your career. Let's make sure you have, like you said, they're not always confident to do, confident enough to do stuff. Let's give you the confidence so that you're making forward moving progress. So I think sometimes it's just having the confidence and then not being so overwhelmed. And then when I teach them stuff, like if it's prepping a demo, I send out step by, a step-by-step -step process so that it does break it down. So I think that's the biggest challenge is not being overwhelmed as an actor. Yeah, they have to learn to trust themselves. Mm -hmm. You say this, like if you get the role or you're in, when you walk into an audition, the casting director wants to cast you. Yes, they want, they, you know, that's why they're there. They want you to be brilliant, right. you know? And a lot of times actors will psych themselves out and like, no, you're perfect the way you are. And if you just can be open and vulnerable, that's why I have so much respect for actors. I mean, it's, it, it's 
they're superheroes. Actors are superheroes. <laughs> they, they are because they have to walk into, uh, yeah, they have to walk into uh, a situation and just say, okay, for this, between action and cut, I have to be completely vulnerable, open, transparent, go for something, right? And a lot of times what I'm just creating is the atmosphere for them to feel like they can do that. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Yeah, yeah good point. Well, that's fascinating. Great insights uh, so far with you ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because when we come back from this break, I'm gonna put our two acting coaches in the hot seat for a lightning round of Would You Rather Coaches Edition. Y'all gonna wanna miss this. Hi, I'm Jeff Savage, marathon runner and author of the number one Amazon bestseller, Savage Resilience, Conquer Adversity and Be Your Own Hero. In this powerful book, you'll discover correlations between what it takes to finish a marathon and what it takes to be successful in any long range goal you may have. Order your copy of Savage Resilience today on Amazon or by visiting jeffsavageonline.com. The audiobook is also available on Audible and the iTunes store on Apple devices. I'm Jeff Savage, and I encourage you to conquer adversity and be your own hero. Let's face it, people tend to put trust in professionals that stand out from the crowd with a distinguished and unique personal brand. In today's competitive digital world, one of the most powerful ways to achieve this top of mind awareness is with a personal branding video. A personal branding video is a more engaging way to deliver your message. It generates more trust with your audience. It improves your online presence and it's an easily shareable marketing asset. Go to personalbrandingvideo.now.site for all of the details and upcoming dates for our next personal branding video day at Sync Lab Media. We'll see you at our next personal branding video day. Welcome back to take two. We are uh, here to play a fun game with our coaches here today. It's a, it's a lightning round uh, game show edition of Would You Rather Coaches Edition. I'm gonna ask Paula and Elise here 10 rapid fire questions about coaching in the acting world and get 10 rapid fire responses. So uh, Paula, okay. we are gonna start with you here today. I'm going to uh, just ask you, would you rather work with a talented but difficult actor or a mediocre but easygoing actor? Both. Talented, but difficult. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> would you rather work with a large cast or a small cast? Small cast. All right. Would you rather coach a musical or a horror film? Horror film. Oh. <laughs> would you rather be famous or rich? Rich. Would you rather have a lot of small roles or one big role in your career? Small roles. Right. Would you rather improvise a scene or follow a script? Follow a script. Would you rather coach a comedy actor or a drama actor? Drama. Okay. Would you rather act with your crush or your idol? <laughs> would you rather be respected for your acting or for your coaching? Oh, ooh. Uh, Sophie's choice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think my acting. Okay, great. Would you rather be overrated or underrated? Oh, underrated. Very good, very good. Yes. All right, oh. Elise, is now your turn. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Round two of uh, Would You Rather. Would you rather play a hero or a villain? A villain, because I haven't played one in a very long time. Oh, Would you rather work with a young cast or an old cast? Ooh, old. Okay. Would you rather coach a romance or a thriller? Thriller. <laughs> Would you rather play a fictional character or a real character? Fictional. Would you rather be talented or lucky? Talented. All right. Would you rather coach a family member or a coworker? Family member. All right. Would you rather coach a famous actor or an unknown actor? Unknown. Would you rather be typecast or never cast? Typecast. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> Would you rather have a lot of feedback or a lot of trust in your coaching? Ooh, yes. <laughs> yes. Scruples. <laughs> Would you rather be smart or funny? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. not very good. Uh, 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 let me 
room. That's great. That's awesome. That one's hard. It's funny. Yeah. 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 Sometimes there's no clear cut answer in these would you rather questions, but they are fun ways to, you know, to draw out, you know, you know, what ifs in situations that are so fantastical that they may never happen. But sometimes it's fun to say, you know, so, but, um, you know, let's, uh, let's move on back to your coaching program specifically. Um, what can your students anticipate when they work with you? And can you tell our audience a little bit more in depth about what's it like to work with Paula Goldberg? Okay. Um, so I'm so excited to talk about this. Well Told Gold Studio was just born from a need and a desire to help and 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 work with actors um because i've been in the writing realm for so long um to get back to my roots i got my bfa i got my mfa in acting and um what i do is i kind of meld all my experiences over the last 15 years in my class so when they come in it's definitely geared towards film so i um we do scripted film scenes we do structured improvs um, and we also do um, original scenes that I write for the actor. So when I get to know the actor and I understand what, where I think they need to grow or what kind of roles they should be doing, I'll write specific short scenes for them. And then I film them. We workshop it one week and then the next week we film. And I have a TikTok channel where I post all these videos and um, it's it's worked out really really well i mean the the i have everyone from a 16 year old to someone in their 50s and 60s um i have a wide variety and you know as we know with acting classes mm -hmm. sometimes i'll have 20 people sometimes i'll have six yeah so we just kind of go with the flow uh and i enjoy it all the way around so when i have a lot of people that's great for them to see and watch and learn from other performers when there's a more intimate group, then everyone gets to work more. Um, so it's been it's been really it was like my grand experiment, and it's lasted two years now. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, you know, being able to see yourself on camera that's a, an added you know you know value to your to your students, yeah. not just taking the classes, but then to be able to watch back and really you know get your camera focus and your camera presence. You know, well, especially like now with what's going on post COVID and Actors are expected to be cinematographers, and they're supposed to be out of light, and they're supposed to do be sound, do sound, and yes. yeah. And I can tell you that I just buy. I have a. Um, I take it on my iPhone, and I have a Rode external microphone mm -hmm. that I put in my and I put it on a tripod, and sounds and looks amazing. And what's so great is you're not burning film. So we we take you know do two, three, four takes of a scene. Um, I'm right now I'm not doing any editing so it's basically um, either a master or I walk around or we do different I do these things called professional monologues where I'll tell the actor um, okay you um, your child was in the hospital and they've been ill and they just died mm -hmm. and you are talking to the camera and confessing that you are both grieving but also relieved Oh. You know, oh. so like we just find different ways or, you know, not always, not always dramatic. Sometimes it's funny, mm -hmm. you know, like you want to break out with break up with someone because their breath smells like garlic every day. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> whatever we do, whatever we're trying to do. But um, we'll do these confessional monologues. We do these structured improvs where I will give them the situation. I will give them um, their goal and their obstacle. And then they just come together and they play off of oh. each other. So it's been it's been a privilege to work with these actors, and uh, I'm I'm grateful every day that I'm able to do it. That's fantastic. I love hearing all of that. Uh, yeah. That's great. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, what is your uh, what what's your website that we can have our uh, audience find? Sure, out? it's WellToldGoldStudio.com. Awesome. And I also, you know, I'm a screenwriter and a and a blog writer and a freelance writer. So I also do uh, screenplay consultants. So if somebody has written a feature screenplay and they want some help uh, for me to read it and give them my due consultations. And I teach screenwriting at UT Dallas. So if anyone wow. is a student there, um, you know, so I'm basically 
dancing the spence because <laughs> 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 we all are, right? We all are, right? <laughs> Well, well, Elise, I want to, uh, you know, kind of pose this exact same uh, question back sure. to you. You know, tell our audience about your coaching and uh, what it's uh, what they can expect when they work with you. Yeah, well, I'll talk about the voice acting and the teleprompter and on camera. So as a voice acting coach, I mentioned earlier, I focus on the craft, the tools and the business of acting. And I coach over Zoom. I know you do in person, but I do group classes on Zoom and private classes on Skype audio. So when it comes to the craft of acting, we do all different types of scripts. So a lot of people come to me because of anime and animation and video games because I have a Dragon Ball character. So I go to all these Comic Cons across the country. So we definitely work on anime and animation and video game scripts, but we do commercial scripts and corporate scripts and audiobook scripts because I feel like as an actor, it's so beneficial to be able to do all the different genres. I mean, it helps from a revenue perspective. It helps you just to be an, a well-rounded actor. I work on the tools. So if actors don't have a home studio set up, then I can help you set up a studio at any budget level. Right. Yeah, because you can set up a home studio like really inexpensively. Or if you've got a big budget, I can help with that too. And then when it comes to the business of acting, you know, I mentioned that I come from corporate America. I um, geek out of, over all of those things to goal setting, how to prep a demo, how to submit to agents, how to submit yourself. Uh, we talk about marketing yourself, like being intentional. So not just doing social media, but marketing yourself from a professional point of view. And then, so that's voice acting. For actors who want to work on teleprompter or interview skills or on-camera presence, like teleprompter, so that's been a big part of my work as an actor over the years. And it's not rocket science, it's just practice really. But a lot of times, actors, the first time I did teleprompter, I just showed up on set and I was like, okay, I've never seen this before. <laughs> and I'm sure I look like deer in the headlights. Yeah, so I own a teleprompter and we really just read teleprompter, which I'm not doing right now. And you know, <laughs> <that's just laughs> you were happy to yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but there there are some tips with teleprompter that can make you look more natural and not make you look like you're reading from the screen. So I just work with actors to actually have the teleprompter experience with me in a safe environment versus okay, I'm on set and I've never seen this before and I'm nervous. So it's just getting familiar, getting comfortable back to your like having confidence because you've done it before. So those are some of the things that actors can expect in an interviewing skills, just practicing interview. A lot of it's just practicing in a safe environment. And that's what I tell my actors. I'm a safe place. I am non-judgmental. This is a time to play and experiment and have fun and feel comfortable. So that's what actors can expect. That's great. Uh, how does an actor find your coaching services? Do you have a website? So for I do, uh, conveniently. So for acting, EliseCoaches.com, for, uh, for coaching, for my actor uh, website, EliseBowman.com, and then for the executive coaching I mentioned, Transform11.com, and then social media, I am everywhere, including TikTok at at Elise Bowman. And then we didn't talk about my YouTube channel where I interview voice actors. It is youtube.com slash anime adventures. And then on social, it's at adventures anime. That's fantastic. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of content there and a lot of expertise. <laughs> uh, Paula, back to you uh, in regards to um, social media and uh, finding you and your services. I know you gave us your, your website, but how else can our audience connect with you? Yes. So if you want to see all the um, actors in class, that's at, at Well Told Gold on, um, on TikTok. And for as long as TikTok's around, I guess. <laughs> and um, I'm also on Twitter at Well Told Gold. So just basically Google Well Told Gold and you'll find me. I love that. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. I feel like I could spend a couple hours sitting here talking to you both about the craft of acting and coaching, but we are running uh, we are running out of time here for our episode of Take Two. But I do want to uh, invite our audience to uh, you know check us out on YouTube at Sync Lab Media Studio. You can find all episodes of Take Two streaming on Binge Network and by downloading the Sync Lab Media Network app on your smart TV. You can find it on Roku, Google Play, 
Amazon Fire, or Apple TV. So lots of great uh, ways to find Take Two and tell your friends. You know, let us let them know that the Dallas acting community has its own hit talk show right here. So Paula Goldberg, Elise Bowman, thank you so much for being a part of our show. And ladies and gentlemen, come back and see us again soon.